Hi everyone, it's Ventura's Yarn and today we're going to review Michael's Lovey Yarn. This yarn is made by Loops and Thread and it's the Michael's house brand. It says there is a pattern included and it looks like this baby blanket. And if we turn it more, it says it's 87 yards, 7 ounces, which is 80 meters or 200 grams. The name of the pattern is Lovey Knit. It's a diagonal striped baby blanket. It uses one ball of turquoise, one ball of mint, with an US size 19 knitting needles. The color of yarn that I have is mint. If you want to get this in the store, the SKU number is 579237. It is 100% polyester. It says to machine wash warm on gentle. Do not bleach. You can tumble dry low. Do not iron and you can dry clean. The yarn is a size 7 jumbo yarn. You can use a US 19 or 15 millimeter knitting needles or a size 15 millimeter USP crochet hook. Here's the yarn and they look like tassels woven into each other like or braided into each other like a waterfall braid. The only thing I want to say is that you have to tie the beginning of the yarn up so the tassels don't untangle in themselves. Let's see, I'm gonna crochet some right now. And I will say this right now, this is not going to be a beginner yarn. It is a bit hard to handle the yarn. So I'm just gonna try to put this through. And I'm using the recommended size hook, which is a size P 11 and a half millimeter hook. You have to try to find and pinch through the holes to find your chains to make the first single crochet. And you can see that the yarn is like, the tassels part of it is going into the chain. So when you're done with your project, you can just pull on it a bit so it's easier and looks more fluffier and more neat looking. Here I am using a bigger hook. I had a ruler and I put it around my hook and I multiplied it by 3.14 and the total was 15 so the millimeter was 15 millimeters for this crochet hook and I think I like this one better because it's looser and it's a lot more easier to work with. If you were to make a baby blanket with this you would probably hand wash it instead of machine washing it. So I'm going to be making a carpet out of this. It was so funny when I went into the store the day before, I thought, I'm, I want to make a carpet, a really soft carpet. And I was thinking of using one of the baby blanket yarns by Burn It. But when I, I passed by the rack and I'm just there, and I saw this yarn, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be the perfect carpet. I had to get this yarn and I did. And I actually like it. I could do a tutorial on the carpet that I'm going to make. 
It's really, really soft, and I can't wait to make a project out of this. <laughs> Here I am trying to frog it, just to see how it pulls. And it does get stuck a bit. You just have to tug on it a little bit, and it does get loose. It's not as difficult to work with. I was tugging on the yarn before, and I didn't see anything falling off or anything. The only thing I would recommend is tying the tip of the yarn up. Because how it's woven into each other, the yarn would at the tip would slip off. That, if that's a, how you say it, I don't know. I would tie it off. So the whole thing doesn't un like unravel or anything. I hope you liked this review. I hope it helped you decide whether you want this yarn or not. This is my opinion of the yarn. I like it. It doesn't get any fuzzies or anything. Nothing falls up except for the tip of the yarn. Now the price for this lovey yarn is $10, but you can use a coupon. Michael's always has a 40% off coupon, so you can use that and get it for $6 instead of the 10 That's all I have to say. I hope you like this and have a nice day everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you think you're gonna try this yarn.